Hi, I'm Maggie. Hi, I'm Grace, and this is A Very Bookish Podcast. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 32 of A Very Bookish Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about our summer reads, books we've already read, books we're planning to read for the summer. Grace asked a couple questions on her Instagram page for our listeners. Um, and then I also have something to talk to y'all about, a little something something that's happening in my life that um, it's exciting. Um, and then anything else we want to talk about today, Grace? No? Okay. <laughs> Not that I can think of. I'm sure the other stuff is going to come up, but we'll see where it goes. We always go off on a tangent. It's, it's not do. like, it's like, we always are like, oh, we're going to do this, this, and this. And then like half of the episode is not even about books. I think, shout out to Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Calvin was, I was on his live and he was talking with Faye and Calvin goes, it should not be called a very bookish podcast because half the time they don't even talk about books. And Calvin, I want to say, you're right. But guess what? When you come on the podcast, we're going to hound you if you go off topic and don't talk about books. Yo, he did not need to call us out like that. That's so... He straight called us out to like 90 people who were on his live. And I was just like, like Calvin, oh. sweetie, why? Oh. Why'd you do that to us? <sighs> Shout out to Calvin. Um, it was really funny. Quick synopsis. I was, I went to Chicago, visited Eamon, and in Chicago, I just hopped on Calvin's live randomly, and he saw my username, and he freaked the fuck out, and he was like, oh my god, it's Matt, add a picture Val, it's Maggie, and he like, and I was fangirling so hard when he was like doing that, and he's like, I listened to the podcast, Maggie, hi Maggie, are you with Eamon right now? And it was just, it was so cute. And shout out to Calvin. <laughs> Such a okay. sweetheart. I love that. Yeah. Um, he's, uh, he's popping up on my comments every now and then. And I always get so excited because like, he's so funny. Like, ah, uh, love him. So awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to shout out to Calvin because he literally made that was like made my honestly made my week because like he followed me I, I've seen his videos and I liked him but I was kind of cautious because I was like oh no is he one of those like like those boy book talkers who kind of just like do it for like you know there are some of those boy book talkers that do it just to get followers um but he wasn't and he then he followed me and I was like oh my gosh Calvin followed me I have to follow him back and then he starts commenting on like every single one of my videos now and I tell you I love Calvin and then he commented on my Instagram post and he the funniest thing it was for my Madison Kate series um by Tate James I posted a photo of Liar and it's this nice aesthetically pleasing photo it has like the cards my little coffin and like all the stuff and he goes I made it all my bios now is he was like ah, well my comments aren't loading of course of course when I need my phone to work the one time it doesn't work I remember um, you posted it to your story you're yeah, just I like I love how you make like sex I love, the, I love that you find a way to make sex aesthetic with like the clapping yeah. thing and I literally put it as all my bios like for my Instagram it's I make sex aesthetically pleasing and then on my TikTok I say I make sex aesthetic so uh, shout out to Calvin for literally coming up with my um his slogan slogan <laughs> yeah um, yeah it's it was it was really cute um he's great but we're gonna definitely have him on the podcast because like I want to um I asked him when he gets back from Germany and then we'll do it after um so let's do you want me to tell my story now or after <laughs> Do you, is it, yeah, go ahead and tell them. Do you want me to tell it? Okay, so. Let me, You're let me excited see. about it, so yeah. So, let's start this story. Setting the scene. It's Monday. I'm at work. I'm not having a good day at work. I'm annoyed. Customer comes up. He's like, hey, do you have this movie? And I'm like, fuck, I have to find this, like, $200 movie. 
and we have like a 50% off sale. It's a Criterion movie. People go ridiculous over these movies. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this customer is going to hound me to find this like movie and stuff. And so like, I'm like looking everywhere for it. We don't have it. Somebody probably stole it. It's a $200 movie. It's like a movie box set. And oh. so it's like $200, but it's on sale for $99. Um, and so I'm like, we don't have it. Do you want me to call like, um, like the other stores and put it on hold for you? And he's like, that would honestly be really great. Thank you. And so I'm calling and I'm like, and then we start talking and we start talking. <laughs> so then I get his number and we've been talking now. Okay we've been we've been talking um and he actually so i made a tiktok video and i was like when i talk to a guy and i tell him i read a lot and then he asks what i'm reading and i just told him like oh i'm reading this book called zodiac academy he looks this book up he looks the book up on goodreads and he goes i looked it up on goodreads it's interesting and i went you just expose me with my smut that i read smut and he's like i honestly don't judge and i was like I was like, if, I, if men can have porn, then I can have my smutty romances. And he's like, I totally agree. No no further comment. And I was like, oh, this is great. Um, and he just looked up our compatibility <laughs> for our star signs. Because, he did not. So I asked him what his star sign, like what his like zodiac sign was because my, all my like coworkers, like my coworkers all saw this go down. And one of my coworkers were literally like, y'all were like flirting that like everybody could see and she's like it was like a meet cute kind of thing but what i'm like they're all into like astrological stuff mm -hmm. i'm not but i like well i'll joke around about it but they were all like what his is his zodiac sign like tell us his zodiac sign we need we need we need compatibility we need it now and so i asked him like just like a couple of minutes ago i was like hey what's your zodiac sign and he's like, are you trying to see how compatible we are? And I was like, no, my coworkers are actually trying to see how compatible we are. And he's like, okay, what's yours? And I'm like, well, try to guess. And he guessed a Scorpio. And I was like, Aquarius. And so he looks it up and he's like, mm, this isn't good, but hold on. I'm like on the, like, he's on a day that is either or. And he looks up the other one. And he's like, wait, we are more compatible as Leo and Aquarius. But this man actually like looked it up and like read it <laughs> to see if we were compatible. Which I think is great. Like, it's adorable. It's it's great because like he like responds with like paragraphs. Like we have like actual conversation versus like you know like there's some guys who do like one sentence responses versus like me and him we're having like multiple conversations at once and we're like replying to each other's uh, messages and stuff. Oh and yeah, it's honestly great. Um, yep. Yeah. I have definitely been getting hit with a lot of uh, one-liners lately. You know what's funny? A quick spin-off into my terrible love life. Since we're going to go. I like how you're act actively looking for somebody and I'm not. <laughs> so, I don't want to say it because I literally feel like this person found this podcast. Oh. And reached out to me. <laughs> so someone reached out to me um, from my past. Uh, and uh, well, I could say this. Um, an ex-boyfriend of mine reached out to me <laughs> recently and wanted to be friends. And so... I um, wanted to apologize for how things ended and enough time has passed that it's like it's okay like I'm not gonna turn down somebody wanting to be friends let alone I don't even talk to my friends like Maggie you're an exception but uh, my friends I like will talk to them like once every three months mm -hmm. and that's it so being a being a friend of mine is not it's a loose term but if you're, if like, I call you out and I'm like, no, that's, that's my, that's a bestie right there. Then you're, you're in the group, which most people who I have met this past year are. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, and as this person is apologizing to me that same day, tell me why my, all of my dating apps started blowing up with matches. 
all of my dating apps. Like I even got reached out to on Facebook, which I don't even use anymore. That's that's interesting that you got reached out to on Facebook. Yes. Well, I'm kind of older, so you know. I still true. use Facebook. I still use Facebook. Yeah, okay? I see you like post on Facebook and stuff. And I'm like, hey, 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 oh, hey. Grace, you're not that old. Some v- videos on Facebook are very funny, okay? <laughs> Don't come at me. And a lot of author groups are on there. So I'm, I'm a part of a lot of book groups. Anyways, so it was like really funny to me that this person is reaching out to me and then all of a sudden everybody else is starting to come at me. And I'm just like, what in the law of attraction happened here? But apparently it was just a good week for everybody. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Maggie's over here getting cute meat cutes and I'm... I don't even know what it is. Yeah. I really miss talking to people. I mean, I talk to you, which is fine. But like we don't we don't talk like every we day, but we will like we 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 talk, we send TikToks to each other or we send <laughs> Snapchats to each other. But like I'm not a very big like I'm a texting person or I'm like a nonverbal communication person where I'll send you videos. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we, we do. don't talk. We're in communication, but we don't talk. We usually talk on the podcast. That's like our thing. That's the only time that we talk, which is why you get all well, of these or we tangents. Or Snapchat videos together. Or Snapchat videos. But that's why we have so many tangents is because we're talking about everything that we, you know. Which we have to start back up our like writing sessions too. Which we do, because I've been having a lot of ideas. Um, so yeah um but most people I don't know you always like I I know I've said this before on the other podcast you have like your friends but then like your inner circle of friends is is those people that you can talk to like often or that you can reach out to and like they'll respond very very fast don't know why I just yawned but yeah they they respond super super fast and it's not like a, well, you haven't talked to me in like a month. Why am I going to respond to you? It's kind of like that thing of just, it just happens. But yeah. Okay. So now that we got our relationship stories yeah, out. Yeah. Way. This is, the, okay. The, we have to say, so like, I have like my hot girl summer, like spicy rack ladder. Um, also follow. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, wait. Well, uh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give, I'll give, let me. So we have a Barnes and Noble Leewood, Kansas book talk account so i run two book talk accounts i run my personal and my one for work and for that we made a spicy a hot girl summer spicy ladder so it's all like this spicy reads we have like penelope douglas we have um neon gods we have we have desperate measures we have like all the spicy books on this ladder and it's our hot girl summer spicy ladder and as i was like talking his name is sam um white boy generic white boy (laughs) i'm in kansas i i don't have many options here (laughs) um but uh he um my coworker was like it's hot girl summer just do it full send hot girl summer and i was like okay that's been my that's been my like motto it's like hot girl summer it's like i gotta start doing that too i gotta be bold i gotta be like these characters in our books that like go up and talk to people how am I gonna find a person yeah I don't even go to talk to people see I was like what I was like looking at him like I was on the phone and I was on hold and I was like looking at him and I felt and I started the conversation by like saying like why doesn't your phone have a phone case on it like it was just kind of because he was holding his phone without a phone case and I was that's bold I was like dude that's giving me anxiety watching you like and he like took out his earbuds and then he started and then he like wrapped up his phone and put it away and started talking to me and stuff while I was like on hold and it was just really good and then he's like you need to watch this 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 movie and stuff and did he did he do like the the lean on the counter kind of thing yeah he did the lean on the counter where he does the one shoulder and looks at you oh yeah yeah and um so I noticed so he has blue eyes but like I noticed that his pupils like really big (laughs) 
and you know what they say like <laughs> like when you look at something you like your pupils get really big and so yeah wow wow i know okay okay all right we can't disappoint calvin so we're gonna start yeah. talking about books we're gonna talk calvin, about books Calvin, if you're listening to this now, you better text me and say you're sorry. But, and that you love me talking about my hot girl summer. If I don't <laughs> receive this text, I am banning you from listening. <laughs> but, okay. So but, let's books, talk books. about books we've read. Um, so do you want me to go first? Or do you want to go first? Y- your list will be longer than mine. <laughs> That's true. I don't have a definite list. But I will say this summer has, we've seen on Book Talk and stuff, we've seen this like trend of like hot girl summer. And that includes like spicy reading. Like there are people who are still reading YA. That's totally fine. But we've seen this trend on Book Talk where this is romance. It's smutty romance, bully romance, reverse harem, hockey, ice planet barbarians. All that kind of stuff is really popping right now. Mm-hmm. Um, throttled, uh, Formula One, um, all that kind of stuff is really popular right now. So I've been reading that. I've been reading Penelope Douglas. I've been reading um, Madison Kate by Tate James, um, Kate Stewart. Uh, what else? Laurelyn Page, Stella Gray. Um, I'm just trying to like list off a couple. I'm currently reading the Zodiac Academy. I'm on the fifth book. There's only seven books out now. So I think it's like a 12 book series too. So I'm trying to catch up before the next book releases. So I'll probably be finished by the end of the week. All the books. Um, mm-hmm. Just the book that I'm reading right now is like 700 pages. And that's the longest because they've all been like 300 my hair just like messed up so they've all been like 300 to like 500 pages and this is like 700 so it's like the biggest one 63 percent of the way through so i've been using my kindle a lot i did two books i have tried to start reading and have not finished one last stop and a touch of malice so. that's all Wow, Meg, I'm I'm disappointed in you. Well, I, I, I kind of I can't I think so much more. I'm joking. I, I could. Do you want me to pull out everything? No, 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 no. Exactly. We'll be here forever. I'm actually gonna post a YouTube video of all my romance reads that I've read for the first half of 2021. So look out for that on my booktube. So now it's my turn um what have i been reading that you guys have not already heard since last time um i'm currently reading throttled by lauren asher uh, maggie you read the first one already i am currently reading that one um it's taking me a little while to get through it i don't know if it's because i'm still trying to come down from yeah I, I watched your Snapchat and I think, so I think you're trying to read really fast and you're trying to go into a series really fast, but you, I've noticed that you personally really like to wait and sit on stuff. So like you like going into books really fast doesn't really work for you and you lose your momentum when you do. I, AKA the Throne of Glass series where you were reading those really fast and then you lost your momentum and like you didn't have enough time to sit and process. I'm calling you out. Yeah, 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 because and then this the pacing of this book is very rapid. It's um, it feels like she was writing it like a movie. Um, yeah, it feels like that. Yeah, yeah, it, um, a well, it's lot a blog, of technically, yeah, that's kind of how it feels like. It feels which is which is great for the type of characters who are telling the story, who are narrating it because they're jumping from one thing to another so there's a lot of downtime in between their races and the action or um uh, dialogue sequences but it just feels like it's speeding through everything and i'm not getting too much of like the chemistry build up and like seeing them looking at each other and being around each other too much and so i feel like Maybe well, that what is also kind of messing me up. Huh? What part are you on? The dad is watching the race w- next to her. Have this you is the after the ballroom scene. No, okay. this is after. This is after the first date. 
Not the one with the motorcycle. I know which one you're talking about. I read the book. Well, because like the first date, I didn't think that that was the first date. I thought the other one was the first date. I would have considered the first one a second date. Yeah, it, it's really weird because like. But I then don't... I don't think you can consider it a first date because it was more of like a. Uh, uh, an olive branch, if you could say. Yeah, it was more of like a peace treaty. Yeah, sorry, Jacob popped in. I'm like, dude, you should know the sound of me recording right now. You were right next to me last week. Um, but yeah, it, I think that too is also throwing me off. And like you said, I like slowing down a little bit with my books. I like, I like feeling what they feel. I like being in the time with them. Um, and this one is just moving super fast that I'm going super slow. If that makes sense. I don't know if that does, but that's what I'm reading right now. Um, and part of it too, is just like, it's a huge transition from going from mafia. Yeah. And that's, that's why I'm saying you really do need to process and you really liked the maid series. And I think you're still stuck in that world. I am. I so, love it too much. Yeah. And so I think, see, for me, I need that ooh, really loud. See, for me, I really need that like constant change. I need that like fast pace. I am a fast paced person. I need to have the next thing. I need to do the next thing. I need to read the series as fast as I can. Like, that's just how I am. That's how my brain processes it. And so. And it, it, kind, it kind of is different too, because like Noah, even though he's like 30, he doesn't feel old. He's a Formula One driver. He is a bachelor. That's what he is. Yeah. And so he feels really young. He feels younger than me, even though he's older than me with the whole career and thousands of dollars and, you know, doing things that he does. He feels young, young to me because the men I was just reading about were like you know had their stuff together and just mm, i miss them so so much yeah anyways um that's what i'm reading right now um i'm probably gonna break up this series with a couple of other ones because i do want to get some other uh summer reads into yeah. it but um it's because there were a lot of books that I have I kept saying I'm gonna read this during the summer I'm gonna read this during the summer and I'm halfway through the summer and I haven't gotten to them but <clears throat> so I kind of want to go off a, a list of them uh there's the people that we met on vacation that Pauline really really hyped up and I kept seeing it so I ended up picking it up it's there and the unhoneymooners everybody read that one a while back ago and i was saving it for summer because it just had that vibe i was just like i need that in summertime and i feel like th like there's this thing about like reading certain books at certain times so you can like really feel the vibes and it'll just like filter out into your own life. Like you read certain books during the Christmas and winter and rainy fall seasons because they they add to the vibe. Like, yeah, you could be at home not doing anything, but you feel like you're going to these pumpkin patches, like you're walking down the streets with um, the wind blowing and blah, 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 you know? So reading like seasonal books during those seasons like add to the whole vibe when you're actually reading it so that's yeah. why I saved a lot for summer yeah am I gonna get to all of them no you're no get, read three books this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to push for at least four because most of my books are going to have audiobooks so that's what also has been slowing me down is I have been without an audiobook for a while and it kind of hit. Oh, I totally skipped over. Sorry, this is going all over the place, but um, I, I recently listened to What the Hex, which oh, is an yeah. Audible original 
Oh my I God. I still have not listened. Oh, it's so good. It, it literally, so it's by, I'm calling her now like one of my top five authors. Who are, who else is in the top five? I don't know, but she's my, probably my favorite author. If not my number one, it's Alexis Daria. Do I love her so much? She wrote, um, you had me at Ola and a lot like Adios is coming out in August. So she did an audible original, which is just an audio book. It's not like an ebook or a physical book or anything. And it's just short. So it's about two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes, the audiobook, super fast paced. It's like a novella. And what the hex is about this family of witches, Puerto Rican witches. And this girl, uh, Catalina, she comes back home from New York for a wedding to this island that they have kind of protected with magic that only their family and other witches live on it. And it's really cool because like she gives you so much world building in such a fast amount of time because like you don't feel like it's a novella you feel like wow this is a whole ass book and and it's really just a little thing but basically like these four um witch families latino witch families founded this island Mm -hmm. and all of them live there and there's a wedding or a merger happening between two families between her family and another one okay now i understand why you were saying like oh I want to like talk about this for the book and stuff. Now I see why. Yes, yes, because it's so good. It's so good. And like, it has, here are some of the tropes for those, because I'm going to push this audio book down everyone's throat. It has um, magic. It's pure Latino rep. Um, We have brujeria. We have um childhood rivals to lovers um we have so much tension we have um what what's it called like um partnership of uh alliance of convenience or something like that we have uh, a possession going on we have camera crews following this family around what do we what else do we have we have the one bed trope we have the stuck in a broom closet trope it's so good we oh we have the fake dating trope it's so good it's if y'all don't listen to this i will officially take it as a personal insult maggie i'm looking at you so um <laughs> you need to listen you need to listen to it it's so good and the reason why i like it so much is because like um the way that their relationship kind of goes diego and catalina like is how i would like our characters for our book to be their relationship to kind of go mm-hmm. Cause man, is it spicy? That's a, that's the thing I like about all her books. They're like spicy and hot, and tension and arguing, but then long glances and rubbing up against each other and mm, mm, it's just good. That's what that's the last audiobook that I listened to, and it's so good. I was on her live, and it turns out that like. <sighs> Um, so she, Alexis Daria had a live stream, um, today, which is Wednesday, um, on Instagram with the narrator, um, Jacqueline, and they were talking about like their process with it. And basically like uh, Amazon has like these entries for like authors to submit like short stories for audible, audible originals. And like, she had this story tucked in her back pocket for years but you know how it is with publishing, like at certain moments, they, they 
they don't want aren't to- looking for that type of story they aren't looking for witches they're looking for um fae or they're looking for whatever it is yeah and originally she hadn't decided if it was going to be YA or if it was going to be um, adult and then just developing a little a little bit more it just turned into adult and she wrote it in basically a week like it was just one of those moments where she was just like spitballing and everything I'm trying just to find up. it up I'm trying to look it up you sent me the link for it I did send you the link I know um <laughs> And it's such a well done story that's so okay. short. The cover looks the like cup. okay. I'm sorry, but the cover looks a little bit like those episodes. The, covers, the cover looks so cute. It's um, so cute, but it also looks like like the episode app games. That's it. So yes, it looks like. and like, like if you look at all of her covers, all of her covers are done with graphic design artists. Like she mm-hmm. does plans them yeah. out, and because the way that she kind of describes it is basically like the Kardashians Mm -hmm. meet the Adams family. So if you look at the cover, you get like that glitz and glam high like vibes Mm -hmm. and everything's on camera because it's like a reality TV show almost because they're filming things for the wedding. So they're filming everybody at all times. So it's it's cute. But yeah, the cover is really adorable. It's cute. It's cute. And yeah, she wrote it in a week. And the uh, the narrator, she did an amazing job. And this is her first um, audiobook. And it was really fast. And I was just like, I could totally do this. Submit a little short story for a uh, audible original watch me I'm, 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 I'm gonna come at you guys and then focus on the our big story it's hard a, a huge story is hard short stories are easy but yeah that's the last audiobook that i listened to so i'm gonna try to listen to more audiobooks this summer because i'm gonna be doing a lot of housework um and stuff so audiobooks usually help with that and hopefully I can start working and listen to audiobooks too. But you know, yeah. Looking at my audiobook, I'm going to, since we're talking about audiobooks, I'm going to tell you which ones I have that I'm hopefully going to listen to. Oh, yeah. So if Eamon's listening and Melissa, I finally have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I was 170th in line, finally got The Invisible Life of Addie, Relu- Addie LaRue on audible i have beach read by emily henry i have kiss quoting um and those are the ones that i have right now that i'm going to listen to and then i have we free the stars and um and ember in the ashes which i'll probably which i have 23 hours left only um oh in the ashes and i probably won't listen to it it's gonna be a long one um Audiobooks usually help me when I'm trying to speed through a book. If I'm not really feeling the book, because I don't really like DNFing books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know that you can, but I don't. I personally want don't. You. Like it. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't like to DNF. I need to finish it, even though it's like a really bad story. And you know, reading really bad stories helps with writing because, like, in my head, as I'm reading it, I'm like, first of all, this could have totally been a different scene. And then my head like splits off into two. And while I'm reading, my other half of my brain is like correcting how the story should go. Why do I do this? That's what I did with that one book that got sent to us. I don't think we should mention it at all. I I, I DNF the book. I fixed that book in my head, man. I'm it so is surprised you finished it and I DNF'd it because I can't stop. It's like one of those like Wattpad car wrecks that you have to read. Yeah. To um, so I just requested the people we meet on vacation. I'm two hundred and twenty third in line out of two hundred and twenty three. <laughs> I'm gonna blame that all on Pauline. Oh yeah, no doubt. That's all on Pauline, for oh, yeah. sure. It definitely is. <laughs> yeah. um, um, 
what uh, there was another one that we got together oh beach read duh yeah beach read i'm gonna i think i'm also gonna do the marriage game on audiobook um kind of all of my berkeley ones i also want to read twisted love by anna anna huang is that how you say your last name yeah yeah twisted love it's on my tbr for july yeah I'm definitely going to be using my Kindle a lot this. And I think what I'm going to do is like, now that I have Kindle Unlimited, mm-hmm. I'm going to read all of the books that I like. And if I like, I'm obsessed with it, then I'll buy the physical. Yeah. Like I did with um, the main series. I loved it so much that I bought the physical, all of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go through and list out every single book that I'm going to be reading in July. Oh my it's going to take a while. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to unhook my microphone because she needs to be unhooked so that I can come over here and tell you. So we have Twisted Love, Tristix Venom, Exodus, Fortuna Sworn, Lesson in Corruption, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, I have that one. Man in Love, Man in Charge, Hot Cop, Try to Finish One Last Stop, Hypocritically Yours, Collided, Priest, Kate, Blossom in Winter, Lured into Love, and then People We Meet on Vacation, Beach Read, Kiss Quotent, Marriage Game, and then the rest of Zodiac Academy. Girl, I thought that was, it's quit Kiss Quotient. Is it quotient or quote quotient? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I swear, it was, quotient. I thought it was like quotient, like to look at a certain mathematical number. I swear, I feel like it's quotient. Quotient is quotient even a word? I think we're saying the same word just with different accents. It's quotient. What is it? What, define quotient. A result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. Oh, yeah, no. It's quotient. Quotient. Shh. Well, that's all the books I'm reading, so. That's too many. I'm, I'm cool with my f- four books a month. And an audible book in there. Mm-hmm. and oh last thing i'm gonna say about it. what the heck's okay the 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 publishers i guess they sent it to me which is so awesome this is the first time anyone's ever actually sent me a book For... kiss For what the heck they sent me oh, the audible what the heck they sent you the audible that's how you found it out no, I knew about it before and I was oh. going to get it anyways, but they sent it to me like, uh, oh, they sent it to me a few days before it was released. Mm-hmm. And so that's how I got to read it, which I'm happy because saved me a credit, even though I was going to get it anyways. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to get, oh, 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 oh. So my dad has been talking to me lately about um, how come I never travel mm-hmm. like out of the country, mostly to the East. Cause like I've gone South, I've gone to Nicaragua, I've gone to Mexico. My dad's always like, how come you don't go travel like, you know, to Europe or anything like that? Or, you know, and I'm like, well, dad, when I wanted to do those things, when I was younger, you were like, it's kind of dangerous so that's kind of stuck with me and he's just like no but you should go you should go you know what if I pay for your trip to go and I'm just like well I mean if you're if you're offering I'll take it and so lately I've been having these like really really specific dreams about me traveling to Europe I'm talking about like I swear my body is there I can like, it's like sensory overload. Tell me why 
I keep having like these like romance book romances happening to me over there. And it's like, damn. Bro, you daydreaming. You full I insert daydreaming. So much. I daydream so much. It's not healthy. And yet it is. But uh, my point is with this is like, I might be thinking about going, mm-hmm. but I'm kind of scared to go by myself. I need like a buddy. Do you want to go with me? Yeah. Do you want to go with me? Yes. Well, I have to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> That's <laughs> offering. I'll take it. <laughs> well, I can take you. I've been to like Paris. I've been to uh, Barcelona. I've been to London. I've been to... Amsterdam, all that places for band. Jacob, yeah. Jacob says that he wants to go, um, and then we can watch because he's been watching the F one races. Oh, like oh, we can go and watch it. And I was just like, bet I'm there. Hello. Let me find me. Let me find me a racer. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's gonna happen. Um, but yeah. So now that I also have been having my iPad. Let's go go back to the business side of things. Um, I started designing a couple of our pins and working on those things. I'm hoping, I'm I'm hoping that we can have um, a shop with like all of our enamel pins. I'm thinking that we're gonna release about five pins at a time. I'm pushing for August. So for y'all listening, we're going to have some pins coming out, some things like that. Keep a lookout because they're going to be very cute. Yeah. And we're going to try to do that. I'm really excited because like one of the pins is one that I, the one that I came up with in finance class was really. I know um, we've been talking about this for like months. I know we literally have been alluding to it on the podcast for months Oh, but it's everybody's just like, oh, what? It's happening. And matter of fact, if you follow our the bookish, um, our the podcast Instagram, you might get some sneak peeks on our Instagram stories in the upcoming weeks. Yes. Of enamel pins, of like finals. Um, we're still deciding kind of where we want to do if we want to do an Etsy shop or if we want to do. Um, yeah. We might start out as an Etsy shop. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Um, an Etsy shop might be easier for it. And then that way yeah. you guys can pre-order any pins that you guys want. Yeah. Um, and also if you guys, when you guys follow our Instagram, you guys can help us choose what kind of things you guys want to see, what you guys want to listen to. Because sometimes we talk yeah. too much about we really have i we really have the instagram to ask like you guys questions like what you want to hear about and stuff and so definitely check out the podcast and follow and we also we post up on our our personal accounts sometimes um about the podcast because we do have bigger accounts on our social media platform other social media platforms yeah we do speaking of i'm coming up on my anniversary i know it's so soon are you excited one year on book talk I am excited. I didn't expect it to really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I remember feeling excited when I had a hundred followers. Oh yeah. That was like it for me. No, literally I'm, I'm at like 800 something for the store book talk and I'm reliving it all over again. That like excitement of like, oh my God, like 800 people are following us like 800 people are following our store book talk account like this is great this is amazing and like that's usually like the best feelings because like you still feel it when you get bigger yeah um like I still look at every person that follows me and I'm excited for it because I don't think I'm that funny or anything but and then again, here we are a year later and it's gotten. I'm not me- funny at all. I don't do any comedy on my stuff. It's, it's a thing. Uh, 
well you do you do speed read a lot so you you give more recs and i don't, I don't give- do recs at all i i barely whenever i do my recommendations my recommendation videos always like flop compared to like no, just no. my transition videos yeah those those counts as as recs those count do they though because i'm literally just showing off books and i'm like tell- well, i guess i guess i'm getting like i'm giving like categorized like yeah, book yeah. videos is what i do yeah or like memeing. I guess I do do sometimes like my like most recent one about uh, the guy. Um, Finding yeah. your Goodreads. <laughs> yeah, reading the book on Goodreads. Yeah, I, I definitely want to like um, start posting a lot more because I haven't been doing it lately. And I want to start doing like little writer snippets because I have a lot of, lately I've been thinking about so many different spicy scenes and I'm just like, gosh, I got to write these down. (laughs) But I don't know how a lot of my followers will feel about that. I think I might get a little too spicy for it, but we'll see. Because I posted one video and TikTok immediately put it under review and I was like, whoa, it wasn't even that serious. I mean, it was kind of serious. It like, was... What would you call that? That it's was not like... Wow. That was very like... out there. It was. Even if you used emojis, like you could tell what you were saying. Yeah, but the algorithm's not going to be able to tell. Obviously, they did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, if you have certain emojis together, like TikTok will flag it. Terrible. I got to mm-hmm. figure out a way to do it. That's true because, like, for one of like uh, my videos where I have um, Ronan saying something very, oh. very. Yeah very filthy (laughs) and I was trying to translate it because so many people were asking I was trying to translate it and TikTok would not let my comments pose and I'm talking about I came up with so many combinations with the kitty cat with the asterisks with the dollar signs Different TikTok is telling you not to make smutty content. I think that's what TikTok is telling you. I don't understand. That's what I'm reading right now. I have to post what I'm reading. (laughs) Yeah. I my year has been interesting because like for half of the year I had less than two thousand followers for majority of it. You've gained a lot of followers in the past month. I want to say month. I would say since I started posting my, when I posted my, um, yeah, when I, my month and a half, when I posted my 365 days video, mm-hmm. um, it's sitting at 600,000 views. Um, when I posted that, I was at like 5,000 followers. Um, and recently I just hit 15K. <laughs> I hit 15.1K today. So I, it's funny because like I actually like putting out my content versus like before, like when I was making like my YA, kind of in the fall, winter time, I wasn't really enjoying the content I was making. Mm-hmm. And you could tell. I wasn't growing a lot. I wasn't, I was posting, but I was just like random stuff. I mean, I did like my Rowan video shrine thingy that I made um, like early February and stuff, but it wasn't until I really started talking about like smut and I actually enjoyed making the videos and like, yeah, I will make a video at like 3 a.m. If it comes to my mind, I will get up out of bed, turn on all my lights in my room, set up my tripod and film it right then and there if I think about it while I'm going to bed and I don't know I just enjoy what I do now and especially my Instagram feed I really enjoy how it's looking now which I'm really excited about yeah me I'm always changing after uh, like a couple months I'm changing my feed completely I yeah I changed it right before summer yeah summer feed right now 
and it it like I think I'm starting to have a little more relaxing a little bit with it more because sometimes I want to post something but then it doesn't go with my feed so then I have to I, I I overthink it a lot and I think I'm just gonna start having more fun with it but now Instagram like completely changed their algorithm that it's not gonna be a photo app anymore yeah I hated that like what is this they're the, trying it, to like they're it's... trying to combine like Facebook YouTube and TikTok into one and that's no we need a place to share these photos and you know because imagine what Instagram would be now without any pictures it's like having Twitter with no tweets Mm -hmm. and it just being links to videos like I I was there when Instagram was that little square brown Mm -hmm. camera even before that one really holy cow we've 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 come a long way instagram don't go away from it don't go go back we need we need pictures instagram is pictures that's the thing it's like it's always been picture and literally it's a camera it's a camera on the app um so uh, i got asked on a date um that's why I'm looking down at my camera. I just got asked out on a date. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Maggie's out here living the life. I'm going to take him to Torchy's Tacos. <laughs> oh um, yeah. But yeah. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it with Instagram. Right now, I've just been reposting a lot of my TikToks on my reels. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how Instagram does without being photos, because that's ridiculous. But yeah. Um, do you have any non-book related? Sorry, Calvin. <laughs> so Calvin, just leave. Bye, Calvin. See you later. <laughs> Uh, um, do you have any non-book related um, plans for the rest of the summer? Yeah, so besides dating, um, I'm actually moving into my apartment. Um, I was just there. I actually spent the night last night. My first like official night in my apartment. I slept on an air mattress, which was it was fine, but like I could hear, like I was so close to the ground that I could hear, like I could hear the floor under me. So I was like listening, at, like I, I, my room has no windows, so I slept till like nine a.m. Full on slept from like midnight to nine a.m. because I don't have windows. Because I'm like, my my apartment is very rectangular, so as you go down, you get closer to the window. So you have like when you first walk in, you have I'll have a tour on my book tube, but you have like the bathroom kitchen and then my room living room uh dining room living room and then carly's bedroom and then the wall of windows and so carly has the wall of windows she has the master bedroom um but so my room doesn't have windows which is nice because then i can have bookshelves that was Mm -hmm. my thing is i wanted to have that room specifically for being able to have bookshelves (laughs) yeah um girl you say you sleep till 9 a.m i slept till 9 a.m I'm sorry, is that late? For me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me over here sleeping till like 11. <clears throat> oh dear. That's why when you said like, oh, till nine, I'm like, that's early. Yeah yeah no, but it's because I'm I'm like this is like my actual first summer not working so it's like I'm up until like 3 a.m that's true I don't know why but it is what it is anyways yeah um so my family we are finally going back to Disneyland um the next week which is gonna be fun my family and I used to have annual passes so we used to go all the time mm-hmm and we're gonna finally go this and um 
Oh, damn it. You're not a Cal. You don't live in California. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, California residents right now. Why am I telling this on a book podcast? Who knows? Um, but California residents right now um, can go to Disneyland for $83 a ticket a day. That's cheap. Yeah, but you have to buy like a three-day pack for that price. But that's not, honestly, that's still pretty good because doing a one day is not it. When you go, you have to go to enjoy yourself. Like you want to relax. When you go and you're like, you only have one day to do everything, you're rushing through everything and then like you are wiped. Yeah. And then you get frustrated and then the lines and blah, blah, blah. So that's why two day passes and three day passes are better, I think. So that's what why I'm we- hearing is when Melissa and Eamon and I come, we have to get the two day pass. Get the two day pass. One day for California, one day for season nine. Okay, so I need to get budget, start getting budget ready. Yeah, you do. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We got we got time. We got time. Yeah. Um but yeah, we're finally going to go do that. We went to an Angels game. I saw. Which was funny. <laughs> I was ha- I was low-key having like a main character moment because like um, my hair was like r- extremely bright. And I just felt like I forgot what it felt like not to be where I'm living. Mm-hmm. And people looking like I, I stand out in a crowd because red is not the typical hair color or my red. And so I kept looking around and I kept catching like some people's eyes, but not enough to feel like, oh, you know, they're looking at me. It's just yeah. the red hair. But it was a pretty cool game. Um, <laughs> a lot of funny Red Sox fans, which was pretty cool. But I'm hoping to go out more this summer. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This 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 episode was everywhere. This was, everywhere. but it's fine. Next next week we'll do we'll do better, guys. Next week we'll do better. But yeah. Um. So I think this is a a good place to end. Yeah, it's like a natural down. It's 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 um it's it's eleven nineteen where I am. So. Yeah, it's nine twenty. I mean, we've been going. This is probably one of our shorter episodes. This is. Congratulations, us. High five. I think this might be one of our shortest. So, I mean, but it was kind of like a, what are we going to do this episode? We we need to plan, replan our next episode. So we're probably going to do that later yeah. this week. Um, So I'm going to put, well, the episode will already be up. So. Well, we're actually going to um post, we have a couple of TikTok videos that we need to post. And we're also going to post, um, um, a TikTok video and an Instagram story where you guys can um, recommend some guests that you would like to see. If it's like bookstagrammers, um, authors, um, book talkers, any type of influencers or any type of people in the book industry that you guys would like to see on the podcast for us to fill in a couple of slots that we have upcoming so make sure and you Calvin's guys Calvin's already is taken. Calvin's is Cal- taken. Calvin's already taken. Calvin's already taken. Um we have I'm trying to think who else do we have? We only have Calvin and that's not even def- definite. We're just penciling him in already. Yeah. Oh, we have a, a couple that we are considering but we need to reach out to them. Oh, yes. Yeah, we need to reach out to people. I tried and, to, and then they aren't following me. So I was like, oh, we're yeah. not mutuals. And I definitely thought we were for a while. <laughs> That's uh, like the awkward part is like when you think you're mutuals and you go to like DM them and you're like, <laughs> oh, we're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so make sure you guys look out on our TikTok to make sure to comment on there. If you aren't following us on any of our uh, podcast social medias, make sure you guys do. Um, quick update. Um, I do have a giveaway going on. I have a giveaway of 365 days and a court of silver flames. So just scroll down my feed and you'll see spicy book 14 K giveaway. Um, also I had had fit, I had hit 14 K five days ago and I've gained a thousand followers in that time. And I've hit 15 K. So thank you everybody who 
I, I attribute it to my a book talker packs. That video is done so well, and I didn't even expect it to like do well. <laughs> it's always those ones, but mm -hmm. I made fifty dollars off of that video, so I'm happy because I did a commission link. Uh, I linked the oh yeah uh, the backpack because Amon told me to. She's like, link the backpack and use Amazon affiliate links, and I was like, okay, and like. 50 people have bought it. Over 50 people, I think, have bought it. It's so, pretty good. Yeah. Like a thousand, I've got like over a thousand clicks on it. But like 50 people, over 50 people have actually like bought it. And it's a good backpack. I love it. I, I, use, I use it everywhere. So. We'll link that backpack in our description too. So yeah, you guys we'll, link, we'll link the infamous A Book Talker pack backpack <laughs> i'm gonna do like a book talker packs for a day a book talker yeah all that kind of stuff yeah it'll be cute it okay be. so guys uh once again thank you guys for listening if you guys don't have a subscribe thank you, to our calvin we're just gonna yeah we're gonna, thank start, you, calvin. We're, gonna, we're gonna shout out calvin every single episode until he comes on like hey calvin see you calvin yeah yeah um if you guys haven't subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you guys do that and make sure you guys turn on any notifications for any of our other uh podcast platforms so you guys stay updated on our weekly episodes and our social media so that way you guys stay updated with any updates that we have for the podcast or any plans thereof um and make sure you guys let us know who else you guys would like to see on in the upcoming second half of this year yes. and yeah we'll see yeah. you guys next time We'll see you guys next week for whatever we have planned then. We actually have planned now. So we'll see you guys. Whatever we have. Yeah. Bye. Bye, you guys.